So today we're doing a fingers only, no brush makeup challenge, which I was challenged by Bake Out Cakes and Crafts 6567. She says, next challenge, putting on your full face makeup using only your fingers. Can't use any brushes or blenders, smiley face. So let's get started. Now I do have eyeliner on. If you think I was about to come on this camera and not have eyeliner being me, you're out of your mind. All right, as usual, I'm gonna start off with eyes. I'm gonna put how I distributed this makeup right here. I took a little picture. So let's do concealer on the eyelid first and foremost. And I'm gonna try not to mess with my little eyeliner. Everything go in here? Okay, good. Looks like I put too much right out the gate. I am on a time limit as usual. <laughs> Good at doing that, aren't I? And I don't want this stuff to dry out, so I'm gonna cover the wet products. So far, this is par for the course. I already do this. A little pimple right here and some around my mouth. Maybe a little bit underneath my eye. All right, so next, I'm gonna take a little bit of my contour and put it in the middle. Trying to make a little transition shade and it's falling all over the place. And I'm gonna rub that in after. Blend. I gotta think as my fingers as being a brush. That's what I have to do. You know what? I should have. Oh, I'm already messing this up. Hold on. Should have set my eyelid before I put contour on. You know what? It's fine. It's all good. So this is just a little of my studio fix. I'm trying to <laughs> put underneath the contour. Patch that back on there. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just trying to lighten up that contour since I didn't put the Studio Fix down first. There we go. I'm virtually just kind of rubbing it away. <laughs> I don't look too, too shabby. Okay, now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little bit of black. Well, I'll say black, it's like silver. I'm putting it on the middle of my eyelid. Well, right here, just a little tap. I just dragged on my face. Wonderful. Love that. Just a little bit. There you go. Okay, now this side. And I have not practiced this. This is genuine results here. I haven't watched any, any videos on this either. Okay, just a little bit more here. I'm just placing it on the back of my hand so that way I have some control. I don't have to keep looking down to dig into the plate, the palette, whatever. I wanted it to be less, and then now it's like a little bit too thick right here on the other eye. I might put a little bit of a Studio Fix just to mute it a little bit right in here. Now a little bit of that contour too. <laughs> I think I'm just going to fly with this and then come back to the eyes like I usually do. I don't like to obsess about perfection at the beginning. All right, now let's do a little inner shine action. I'm using white dress for the inner shine and on top of my eyebrow. Oh, god dang it. I have to have a light hand for this and I just put that into my eyebrow. It's not good. Okay, I'm gonna just wipe that away. I'm just tapping into it so I don't get out of control. Just a little bit right here. And that crap is getting everywhere. I feel bad for the people who try to do this and they have nails on because that's, or just long nails. And that's a lot of, it's a lot of extra. <laughs> now, I need to smear this out. Okay, now let's go ahead and <laughs> put my foundation on. Is that right? Yeah, foundation, yeah, okay. I put way too much in the container. And this is how I'm doing it. Tap, tap it, have some control. And like my hand is a brush. <laughs> there we go. A little bit on the nasal there. How am I doing? Comment below. <laughs> and have you guys done this challenge? Comment below. I'm taking it under my eye. I know I probably shouldn't do that, but and I will put concealer on this time. The concealer doesn't match though. I mean, it does match, I think. Just the two of us. <laughs> That's not even originally what I was gonna say. And this is Maybelline Fit Me. 
I did buy some more foundation, but I'm gonna use it in another video. And now it's on my lip. Wonderful. I think I'm gonna apply a little bit more. So far that doesn't look too shabby, but since I have so much, why not cake some on? Foundation is on. Now we're gonna put on some concealer. Ugh. This is so ugly. And this concealer is e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Oh, I cannot stand this. This is so... I should have, shouldn't have put so much on. This is definitely overkill for me. I'm just gonna try to blend this out a little bit better. That's gonna have to do. So this is with concealer. It looks like crap. I'm just letting you know. I should have just not put it on. Okay, so now we're gonna set with Studio Fix, which is, <laughs> it's a real challenge there. I'm gonna pick it up. Oh my gosh, this is such a mess. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's just take it down a notch, Sip. <laughs> just take it down a notch. <laughs> Ooh, that does help a lot though. Tap it on. Just pretend like this is normal. Pretend like we don't have brushes ever. <laughs> or just some like cavemen. This is hard because the Studio Fix is very fine. So it just presses in and like solidifies when I touch it, obviously. Ma'am, it's about done here with this. I am still very aware of time, so I'm going to move on. Foundation and press powder is on. And the concealer. Let's see. And then now we're gonna I'm gonna use my ill maquillage, maquillage, whatever. And I don't want to waste that foundation, so I'm gonna use it as a contour. Cause it's so dark. This slightly carving. It's really creamy. Pretty cool. And I put so much in the palette. It smells good. It smells okay, I should say. It's a little taparoo to blend. And I like to bring it right here. That's just my thing. Okay. I have like PTSD when I think my camera's going out. There we go. A little bit up here. My hair usually covers that side, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, I think that's gonna have to work. If you're wondering why I always put my hair to the side, it's because my nose is prominent. <laughs> that's the word I'm using. So it doesn't look too attractive when I Put it down the middle. But I do like when people do that. I think it's very, very feminine, very beautiful. Blending that out. I don't think it looks too shabby from my point of view. Okay. Now let's put on some cream blush right above it. And this is Maybelline Cheek Heat. I'm actually gonna show this because this is my first time using it. So we'll see how I like it. I'm just using a little tiny bit right here okay just tapping it on in cosmetology we learn obviously skin care and this just reminds me of the massage that, well, one of the steps of the massage that we do is, is tapping. I think that looks decent. All right, now I'm gonna put that contour powder on top of it. I think this is Margin or Prism from MAC. I can't remember which one I decided on. I think it's Margin because there's no reflect. And that's coming out patchy because <laughs> it is like milled 
and it's fine, so it's just kind of caking. Probably should have just not did this. <laughs> and now it's like a thick, if I try to scrape it up, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna peel out. So I don't think I'm gonna go too far with that uh, contour, maybe up here, <laughs> actually. How am I looking? Comment below at this point. All right, now let's go ahead and do some MAC Pink Swoon Powder. I don't know if I should even do this, but here goes nothing. I'm just gonna tap it. This could be a mistake. I love Pink Swoon. And I haven't checked to see if they still sell it, so I am very sorry I keep bringing this into my videos. It's like the perfect... Oh, man. I just accidentally put some of that highlight. Um my eye the white dress on top of my cheek i'm just gonna smear that in there i mean it did lighten up the the pink not a complete loss it's a tiny bit around here okay not the worst i think i'm doing better than i expected the time crunch i do a little highlighter action and this is of course my mac mineralized skin finish. I'm just taking it above the cheek, right in here. Hopefully that brings all this together. Well, it usually does actually. If you guys have seen a lot of these fingers only challenges, let me know who you think did the best in the comments below. All right, and let's move on to next step. I can always come back. This is what we're looking like so far. Now eyebrows, I'm a little nervous with this. I'm just gonna use my pinky. I took some eyeliner and I smushed it and it is black, I probably shouldn't have used black, but I'm just gonna tap it. Oh man, yeah, this is no bueno. Hey, that's not, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all, baby. I think it's just because I have really dark eyebrows that this kind of works. I think that's good. <laughs> okay. I think that last little swipe just messed it up. Okay. I usually would set by now, obviously, how am I going to set? It's a spray, so that won't, that won't work. Now we're going to go ahead and apply some lashes. I'd rather do it this way. I don't usually go with eyelashes, but fake lashes. But because I can't put mascara on, you best believe I'm doing it this way. All right, going in with my second lash. And these are dirty. I use them in my Mardi Gras video and I did not clean them or do anything to make them better. I don't have anything to push it down on, so... All right, lips, let's go. And for lips, I am using Jeffree Store in Poinsettia. So let's get it, baby. I'm using like the reverse way that I usually do lips and uh, going from the inner to the outer. I like red rum a lot better than this one. Now I'm just thickening it. Oh, god dang it. Go towards the middle. Not too shabby. I kind of carved out the top of my lip. I was surprised I was able to do that. I feel like I should, I think I'm gonna stop here. I think this is safe. So lips are on and this is the finished look using no brush, only fingers. And it is also the definition of a cake face. So enjoy it. How did I do? comment below let me know and even if you didn't like this video and you don't think i did a good job please go ahead and subscribe using your pinky your pointer or your thumb and show me some love oh that's cute
That's cute, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old school. I didn't put any glitter on today. I don't know how I feel about that.